Okay, next question here. I'll let you pause the video right now and take a stab at this and then we'll go over it. Okay, let's get right into this one now. So here you have to use what's called the FOIL method and the F stands for first. So basically you'd start a problem like this by looking at the first terms, which are 2x and 3x. So you're gonna multiply those together. Now, what is two times three? Two times three is six. X times X is X squared. And this is a six, it's supposed to say six X squared. I know my handwriting is a little bit funny here. That takes care of the first. And so let me write this right here. We've got FOIL here. So we did the first already. And next we move on to our O. The O stands for outer. So we wanna multiply the two outermost things. So we've got two X and 11 X. And we're gonna multiply those. I'm gonna add it up right here. So what is two times 11? Two times 11 is 22. And we have to bring the X along for the ride. So we have six X squared plus 22 X. That takes care of the outer. Next, we wanna do the inner two terms. So we've got our negative one. Very important to bring the negative along for the ride here and three X. So what is negative one times three X? that is negative three. Of course, we have to keep the X along for the ride here too. Next, we have to move on to the last. So the last two things that we didn't multiply together yet are negative one and positive 11. And a negative times a positive gives us a negative and it's gonna end up with negative 11. And then we have to do 22 minus three. You could also think of that as 22 plus negative three, but I think it's easier just to think about it this way. But this would be 19, and so D would be the correct answer here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough room to fit an entire solution up on the screen here, so I'm just showing you a little graphic here that you might wanna add into your notes and spend some time on if you're having trouble with this. And then when you're ready, we'll move on to the next question.